Well, Boris Johnson's plan to pull Britain out of the European Union at the end of the month has been thrown into doubt after MPs rejected the government's timetable to fast track his Brexit deal through Parliament. It was the second of two key votes tonight. First, MPs supported the legislation needed to implement Mr Johnson's withdrawal agreement bill. That set up a vote on the government's plans to push the bill through Parliament in just three days' time. Well, MPs rejected that timetable, 322 votes to 308. The decision has thrown the Prime Minister's promise of an October 31st Brexit into question and forced Mr Johnson to put the legislation on hold. I will speak to EU member states about their intentions until they have reached a decision. Until we, uh, they have reached a decision, I must say, we will pause this legislation. And let me, let me be clear, let me be clear, our policy remains that we should not delay, that we should leave the EU on October the 31st, and that is, that is what I will say to the EU, and I will report back to the House. And one way or another, we will leave the EU with this deal to which this House has just given its assent. Well, our correspondent uh, in London, Vincent McAvinney, joins me now with more on this. Well, Vinny, as we were just hearing, Prime Minister Boris Johnson there, well, I was trying to put a positive spin on events, but ultimately he won the first vote on this withdrawal agreement bill, but significantly he lost the second. Yeah, I mean, Prime Minister Boris Johnson has managed to do something that uh, Theresa May never did, which was to actually get support, cross-party support in the end, for a deal for Brexit. And it was by a much larger margin than people thought. We thought we were going to get a majority of around five or so for the Prime Minister. But in the end, it was 329 to 299. So a comfortable margin to work on as this bill will make its way through the House of Commons and we'll have to face some amendments now because the disappointment for him is the fact that that support petered away when it came to the schedule. 322 voted to against 308 to scrap this truncated schedule of it whizzing through the House of Commons, the House of Lords, and ending up in the Queen's desk on Monday and becoming law. They felt that because of the nature of it, how complex it was, the length of it, 110 pages, it needed more time to be scrutinised properly uh, because there were so many issues. Things like the DEP discovering they might have to do uh, customs export forms just to move goods between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK. And Labour members who are supporting leaving, worrying about the fact that the Prime Minister hasn't promised the same environmental standards and employment protection rights. So the Prime Minister has now suspended the legislation. He is trying to kick the ball into a Brussels court and say that they need to decide how long an extension they'll be given and then he will come up with a new schedule. But for now, he says he is stepping up that no-deal Brexit planning in order to drive up the pressure on all sides. OK, and he significantly said it was rather interesting. He said, I'm putting this legislation on pause. Uh, but what's going to be happening uh, behind the scenes, Vinny? Well, behind the scenes, I think Boris Johnson will be waiting uh, to hear from Brussels how long they will give him. He has the card to play that he can say, well, this deal does have support. We only need a small technical extension. We don't need all the time that was requested until the 31st of January. But he knows now that he can probably get this deal through. And as soon as that is done and we're over the prospect of crashing out with no deal on October 31st, then the opposition parties will grant him that general election that he wants to get to. So I think the Prime Minister tonight will be pretty pleased because when it comes to that campaign, he can not only say to people around this country, I did what no one said I could. I got us a deal that got support around the House of Commons. I got rid of the backstop. It was MPs who thwarted it going through. But if you give me a majority, I can get that deal through and get this done. I'm the negotiator. So the Prime Minister, I think, although it seems quite bad for him tonight because he won't be able to honour that promise of October 30th first leaving, he has made it clear in the attempts that he has made uh, and in his declarations to the public that he has kept his side of this, but it is Parliament and the opposition that have let them down if they did want to get out by October 31st. OK, so Boris Johnson putting a positive spin on what's just been happening. Well, Vincent McAvinney for us in London, thank you.